Want your camera to see the stars? These are planets, I know. All you gotta do is point it in the mirror. Duh. In all seriousness, you will want a tripod. One of these boys right here. All metal construction is what I'd really say, but there's a lot of great brands. Also, at night, it tends to be pretty windy. Utilize this hook. You can hang your bag from there. It really helps with the camera shake. You're also going to want your favorite camera and your widest, fastest lens. Wide aperture because nighttime is dark, and you want a wide lens because of math. You really only need to use this math if you want your stars to be stagnant and not star trails. Lucky for us, that math is actually really simple. It's called the 500 rule. You take 500 and divide it by your focal length. So in this case, 16, 500 divided by 16 is 31 roughly. You want to take as much pressure off the ISO as you can. Wider the lens, the more light we can let in through time instead of through pumping up the ISO, which is just going to make your photos look cleaner. Also, light painting goes a long way, but use it sparingly. Less is more. It's where you take a flashlight and shine it on objects in the foreground as you're doing that 30, 45, two minute exposure.